hey, uh, YouTube, if you're seeing this, it's going to be a miracle at this point. Um, this is the third time streaming this and trying to get it to you. Um, and the other two times didn't work. So if you see this, uh, it worked. Hopefully. Um, the first time I tried using a PlayStation 5 controller uh, to play the game. Apparently when you plug it into your computer, uh, it knows there's a microphone and it's like, oh, you want to use that microphone. Got it. Cool. Didn't want, didn't want that. Uh, it's the second time the VOD just corrupted. So, I'm trying this again. Uh, um, yeah. When I switch, when I pick this, it's gonna... You're gonna see my desktop for a second. Just close your eyes. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna go to this while it does that. Oh no, there's the mouse. Are you gonna see the desktop? It usually shows the desktop. It didn't. Okay, cool. Um, I do need to do one more quick thing before we actually get into the game. Is where is my mouse? Open this back up. So it says everything is running. Uh, I need to double check that though. So I'm just gonna reload the engine, and then everything should everything should be good from that point on. Um, okay, we're gonna start a new game again. Um, this is Kingdom Hearts Critical Mix, Reverse Rebirth. Basically, if Kingdom Hearts 1 had a critical, or a reverse rebirth mode, um, it's a lot different. So you'll see a lot of things. First off, uh, difficulty. Standard is the easiest. Standard was normal mode in, in base game. Uh, I'm going to be doing critical, because this game actually makes things a lot easier, so we make it harder with difficulty. Because that makes sense. Uh, the rest of this doesn't matter. Uh... It might look a little weird because it's going to be automatically skipping cutscenes, so like it'll f flash real quick or like kind of stutter on certain things. So don't worry about it like that. Uh, it's auto skipping cutscenes. We're playing as Riku, obviously. Um, yeah. Uh, text cutscenes are a lot faster. Um, <laughs> gameplay is a lot faster. You can tell just by moving around. Um, I'm not sure how much of this matters. I always take the shield and leave the sword. So we have it like started that cutscene. Like you get to hear it. So yeah, there's there's just a few things different. It's gonna be feeling a lot faster because it is, especially um. No, not not cutscenes. Have just the game's auto skipping them, because uh, I'm just gonna basically be treating this like a new game plus basically. Plus, I've played half this game at this point. It's weird, just going straight into gameplay again. So, uh, yeah, we're playing as Riku. Uh, you'll notice there's another meter next to our uh, face down there, in the bottom right. Uh, that is a darkness meter, kind of like in Reverse Rebirth from Recom. Or, I guess, any chain of memories. Uh, the higher that is, uh, the faster and stronger Riku will play. Um, and I wasn't sure what, what I was going to do as I was playing this before, but I think I am. I might go for 100%. We'll see, so I'm going to pick the bottom options. Because that will uh, make me level up. I'll, I'll need a total... That's not what I wanted. The text goes by so fast. Is it is it dusk or whatever? In the dead night, that's fine. That's what we want. That determines your uh, level grade. I can't think of the word every time I have to think about it. But uh, if you choose the top option for all of them, uh, you level up faster towards the beginning of the game, but slower towards the end of the game. Middle option is like a, it'll be the same throughout the entire game. The bottom option. Uh, you level up slower at the beginning of the game, but faster towards the end, and you actually need a less number of total EXP. Um, I'm not gonna save. I don't think we have any equipments. So that right there, that darkness, is actually connected to the darkness level, that meter. So I can't actually use this stuff. Same with the healing shadow. Um, we don't have any op er, items to take. We have a dark shield. 
I didn't know you could do that, actually. I'm not supposed to have this yet. <laughs> you can get the key plate early. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. And I can't switch back. Cool. Um, don't have any accessories. And I, we already have a bunch of abilities. I don't know exactly what these are for. Um, it says they're for keyblades, so I'm just gonna leave them alone. We start with max uh, AP, and uh, this just bring, makes everything a little bit faster, 20% faster. So, I wonder if the game will like auto equip me with the shield again, or like if it's gonna crash or something. I would laugh. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Also, scan is already equipped. Uh, I don't even think that's using up ability points. Uh, I think that's just... Scan is always on. Man, if I could just hit him, like, one more time real quick. There we go. Nice. So, uh, the combat is a lot closer to, uh... Older, or I guess newer Kingdom Hearts games. Kind of, like, two? Would be the closest thing if I had to, like... Actually... Compare it to something. Um, because one is just so slow. One is incredibly slow. Also, we could, we skip the entirety of the Destiny Islands, except it's a bit obviously, because that was just part of the mod. I actually tried taking that out, but I don't know how to code, so it didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I didn't care. This is when we're supposed to get the Keyblade. And now these guys will actually have this experience. We are going to be leveling up slower. I think it's until like 40 or 45 when we when, when the, the it gradually changes that we need less experience level up. As I was testing this again for like the third time the other night, I killed everything on this beach just for fun. Uh, I want to get at least one level while we're down here, just because this is critical mix, critical mode. It's gonna be a bit harder than normal. But also, it's a bit faster. Uh, also, I don't know if you notice at the very end of that battle, we already have dodge, and also we can use it in the middle of the air if we want to. Strength up, okay. That's all I wanted. So, like, evasion is gonna be super important during this. I love just getting into cutscenes and. Boop. Next. We also already have guards, so it should be easy. Easier. Just a bunch of quality of like life options that make the game a little bit closer to newer games, because Kingdom Hearts 1 is not a bad game. It is a good game. As compared to everything else, it's so slow and like janky. Nice, we actually got two levels off of that. We got Dark Combo. Dark Combo is basically Combo Plus, I think. A bunch of new uh, abilities just under different names. Just gotta turn down the game a little bit. I love how it just zooms past everything. Um, right, I was gonna try something, so to do that I need to save real quick just to make sure. Accessory descriptions and shops are on, because uh, they're uh, especially uh, modded now. So I'm going to save. I'm going to go over that. That was my test file earlier. Um, okay. I'll explain what I was trying to do earlier, but it, it was literally, literally just in that pause menu. Um, it would have been in the, in the pause menu. So we got that. Let's put that on. Um, okay. And we got one new ability. That combo. So, for anyone who doesn't know, you didn't actually need to go into the accessory shop right away. You can go to the second district first. And then uh, go to the accessory shop later. Because the only requirement to continue from uh, getting to this world and the next story beat is uh, kill five heartless. That's the only thing the game checks for is that you've killed five heartless. Since there's more than five that spawn right here, might as well. I'm gonna grab this while I'm here. 
jumping is slightly higher, so I'm not quite as used to it as I normally would be. So, what the game wants you to do is run around looking for uh, someone, and then uh, other characters are also looking for you, and you like barely miss. You miss seeing each other every single time. I am kind of focusing on killing a few enemies just to get a few extra experience points before we get into the real big part of the game. Normally, like, the uh, Destiny Islands is the tutorial area, besides where we actually started the game. Um, but this is basically tutorial part two, I guess, if you want to call that. Okay, uh... I don't think we need, 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 would need to save. We do need to talk to him again. I don't actually want to buy anything. And then, then we leave. Then there's this guy that wants to beat us up. Um, when I first started testing this, I got hit by his fire attack on easy mode. And it immediately killed me, so... You know. Oh yeah, I can also use R to use my items to easily get to my items. And it slows down as I'm trying to use them. Oh, that was so close. Hell yeah. Heck boost. Nice. I like how you can still kind of hear the cutscenes, but it's just skipping them as fast as it can. Kind of interesting. So, um, this is the Dark Void. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to someone first. Uh huh. And then we can open this. So, we can get abilities from chests. So, uh, yeah. Chests are super important now. Like, they were pretty important uh, beforehand, but now I don't know what's in them, so I have to, like, check a lot of them. I did play, like, half this game the last time we attempted doing this, but, um, I still don't really remember which one, which chests were important, so I'm just going to try to basically get all of them. Um, yeah, like I said towards the beginning of this, I think I might, I am going to try to go for, um, 100% during this, just because it's different. Um, and I don't exactly know how to do everything. Because I played base game Kingdom Hearts a lot. That was weird. So, like, I know a majority of base game Kingdom Hearts. I don't know this. And this is, like, a new take on it. Post guard. I'm gonna ignore these guys real quick. I can also open chests in battle, which is usually not a thing until Kingdom Hearts 2. But, you know, mods are cool. Then we'll fight some guys back to the door that we were at. Oh yeah, we also have another mod that, uh... In Final Mix, they changed the colors of a bunch of Heartless. The mod changes it back to their normal colors. Which feels weird to me, because I've played Final Mix so much. That, uh... These colors feel wrong. But these are actually the base game colors that from... When the game was on the PS2. When it first came out. So seeing these guys as, like, they're supposed to be is different for me. Also, you can't get that chest. Trust me, I've tried. There's, an, there's an invisible wall. You can't do fancy air dodges to get it. He just says no for now. Okay. Any other one? Anyone else want to spawn over here? No? These guys do, though. But since I can animation cancel out of almost anything, uh, combat is a lot faster. Also, just because the game runs faster, too. It's set to a higher speed. I think the, um... Um... The cutscenes where they uh, use text 
Um, I think they literally just doubled the frame rate on those to make them run faster. Um, we did just level up and get some HP. What just spawned? Oh. I heard you. Got this one here. Get a few extra experiences before we get to the boss. Okay. Let's do the boss. Bloop. <laughs> it feels super sudden. Like, oh. Suddenly, for one second we're walking, and the next we're in battle. No explanation. Because this is kind of similar to a reverse rebirth, like like the actual game. You basically have to replay uh, Chain of Memories, but in a different twist. There are different bosses, though, in the actual reverse rebirth in Chain of Memories. But for like the majority, it's basically the same. Plus, it kind of treats this as like a new game plus kind of thing. Only we don't start at like level 100. I think. I think the only Kingdom Hearts game to use New Game Plus, or at least. No, there's more than one. I think it started with uh, Dream Drop Distance. I think. Because I never did it till 3. Um. I don't think I've done it in Dream Drop Distance, even though I probably should, because I'm still trying to find them that game. There we go. Nice. Not too bad. Uh, I know Don leveled up as soon as like we got him, and uh, then everyone just leveled up there, so I'll have to check everyone's stats and everything again. And their equipment. <clears throat> I feel like this is gonna happen a lot, where it's just a black screen with like little sounds. Yeah, because it, it's giving cousins. 500 monies, Phoenix down. That's new. Which is kind of super useful for this game, actually. But we still get fire there. And we have that ability from Goofy this time. Um. So the one thing that I was going to check earlier, which is why I saved in the accessory shop right away, is we can go to the save menu anywhere we want. We can go to the gummy ship anywhere we want. I wanted to see if it would ac let us access that before we met Donald and Goofy and see if it broke the game or not. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to show off a little glitch I know. In, not in base game, it doesn't really have any reason to exist. Um, it is technically a sequence break but you don't really get anything out of it in base game. Um, in this one, you do, though. So the first time you go to any tr any trinity, these things, it'll do this little tutorial thing on it. We can't do the red one yet, though. We can only do the blue. But since we looked at this one first, if we just press up, we go through the bars. We're not supposed to access this for a long time. Um, and... I guess it's like technically three worlds, and then we're supposed to come back here and talk to these people. But we can do this now. Um, normally in the game, uh, Leon will give you a summon orb that you're supposed to take to someone else, and then they'll give you the ability to summon that person. Um, the person who gives you the summon from the summon orb will not give you the summon right away, though, so it's that there's really no reason to do this glitch. Here, though, we get an ability out of it, so it's kind of useful. Um, Stun Rush, Ripple Leap, and Aerial Dive. Luffy and Pep Rocket, and do we have any other equipments? Brave Warrior? That gives strength. Yeah, let's give that to Riku, and we'll give this to Luffy for now. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter for that. Uh, there's a chest over here. And we can't go up from here, but we can later on. I'll show you the person that we're supposed to take the orb to, but uh, even if you do take it to them and you have it before you're supposed to, uh, they won't give you the, the summon. Uh, there's nothing else to do in this room. 
can get a few chests around here. Obviously, we, we can get this one. You can actually get this in base game if you just get it with jumping, but it's a lot easier in this because we can do the roll dive. Spirit Stone. Okay. I'm just skipping this room that I don't want to go into by jumping over here and missing, apparently. But there's a room that you can go through to end up where I'm trying to get. I did not think that was going to work. Okay. But we can go up here. Uh, there's another Trinity there. I don't think you can glitch through that, and I don't think you get anything out of it, even if you could, so... Uh, don't fall. There's a chest here. We go in here. We can get another postcard. Um, we can get a blue trinity here. We're not supposed to learn red trinity until like, uh, yeah, three worlds or so, so. And you only get that cutscene once when, uh, you play the game, so. As far as I know, that only works in English releases of the Final Mix version. Um, I don't know why. I just know that it works. Okay, there is a chest over there. I think we can get it, but I'm going to do this first. Um, I think it's going to show some of this cutscene. Yeah. So in the game, you literally just can't skip uh, text cutscenes like this. Which is why it's not skipping it, so that's why we're doing it now. That's why we have to watch it. So that's the fairy godmother who will give you st summons from certain stones. Uh, but like I said, she won't give it to you until you're supposed to be able to get it. There's a trinity here. these. Okay. Um, we're still not done here. Let's try to get that chest. I know we can get it. We're not supposed to get it till way later in base game at least. Um, but I know we can. So I'm gonna try. Hell yeah. That's more puppies I don't care about. I am gonna get all the puppies, but I don't care about getting them. I try to get them back on the island, but no. Also, if you press uh, the roll slash uh, block button, you block in water. You can, you can stand if you wanted to. Um, there are a few, a few other things we can do before we leave. Unlock this. This is usually the, usually the first trinity people find, which is why I opted to avoid it. I didn't do the glitch. There's also this one over here. So this actually, uh, this is a lot different than base game. You get Oblivion. Uh, equipment, Riku. Unleashes the Keyblade's full potential, but its wielder dies in a single hit. So it would give me from 16 strength to 39. That's more than double. But my magic would go, would go down, obviously, but it, it ever the, if I get hit at all, you die. So, um, we can go to here real quick. These guys sell weapons for Donald and Goopy. I, I uh, want to grab that postcard first. Um, we have 1500 money. I know. I don't have enough for both of these. Let's grab that one. Um, Veo, I want the stout shield. It's weaker, but it's bigger, so more defense. Donald will just give you that, because that's all we got for you. Uh, there's two more postcards we can get now. There's one in here. You can't actually open this chest until uh, Leon and Yuffie teach you how to open chests, even though the, the, tutorial, the tutorial told us we could open chests. It's fine. Uh, this you get, you can get in base game like that. I think that's it for now. 
for cool things we can do around here. Um, so we can turn some of these in. There's 10 in total. One gives us elixir. Two is a memory. Fire ring. Nice. Ray of light. Nice. Blaze gem. Six is mega elixir. And I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Um, That memory is a synth synthesis thing for uh, the, the dream sword. Also, before I forget... I'm going to give Riku the Phoenix down. If he has it in his part, in his, if he has it equipped, if I die, I come back to life. That's not in base game. Um, ooh, that gives us more HP and MP, but hmm, we only have fire for now. Only one or more HP though. I'm gonna stay, stick with the Brave Warrior. Uh, we'll give Fire Ring to Donald, and sure, we'll give that to Donald too. Okay, I think that's it that we can do in Traverse Town for now. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Brain hurt, brain hurt. Yeah, okay. Okay. So we can go to the gummy shop from, from anywhere. Uh, that can kind of break the game. Or at least get, make things awkward. Also, we can go anywhere. To any world. So I'm actually going to start here. Which normally you can do anyway, but... Um, You'll see. I'm not going to complete this world yet. <laughs> I like how it still plays the sounds for the cutscenes. We could learn to Onslaught. There's a Thunder Ring we can give to Goofy, I guess. Another Blue Trinity here. Dalmatians. Um, yeah, I give that to Goofy because I can even though he doesn't need it. It gives him a thunder boost, which actually doesn't do anything for him. Sure, whatever. Uh, we got an ability. Onslaught. Early strikes enemy ahead of you, frequently deals critical damage. Cool. So if you know this world, uh, there's no we don't actually have to do any fighting to get a new ability. You're way too heavy. For now, we just have to do some training. And by training, I mean hit barrels. You're done. Uh, yeah, Riku has a, has a different moveset than Sora, so this is a little uh, awkward. Oh man, I was up and down to that one. It's different than doing Sora's, because like with Sora's, I have I know what I'm, what exactly I'm like aiming for. And with Riku's, it sometimes can be a little bit faster, but like I'm not used to it, like that. Nope, I had it right the first time. There we go. That's not what I wanted. Not that either. Okay, right there. there we go. Okay. Can I use magic here? Take this. Kind of. If I had more magic, I could, yeah. And that's it. For training. He says we can't do the games because we're not cool enough yet, but he gives us thunder. Um, thunder goes on Y. That's not up for debate. Uh, X, yeah, we'll put fire for now. And uh, we could teleport out, but... We get a thing with that. We can continue this world now if we want to. I don't want to. I just wanted thunder. We'll come back later. I'm gonna go over here now. And now we can actually get Blizzard early if we wanted to. Uh, as well. Uh, a lot of this stuff you can do in base game, but it's just faster. And also getting abilities like ASAP is super good. Hi. Oops. I always forget. You need to push the bed first. 
I always forget that. I don't know why. Okay. Let's get some experience. Also, if we do finish this world, uh, it'll give us a piece of equipment that's actually pretty useful. So I might just actually finish this world while we're here. I was just going to get Blizzard and go to the next world. I think I might... Uh, just finish this world here. Although the, the boss here is kind of annoying. Any more enemies? Probably, maybe. Hello. Did we murder everything already? Okay, yeah. Now we find out Alice is on trial, and uh, we say no, and then we have to find some evidence saying that she's not guilty. Or whatever. You can kind of see through my shirt. It's a little bit green on that side. Just ignore it. It's fine. I keep seeing the background through it. Game? It's not frozen. We can see the thing way over there. Oh, cool. So... to find a hole to somewhere. annoying. I think the only way we can fix that is to close the game. Oops, wrong keyboard. sure yeah i can't i can't do anything okay uh engine stop engine we'll turn actually yeah start that now okay back into this <laughs> this is why you should save more often kids um if that does happen again i can turn off the auto skip cutscene glitch and i think that's what broke it um so we'll, we'll save before we get there but we have to do a couple things to get back there unfortunately uh, okay whatever it's fine it's not like we can just skip straight to where i was anyway okay that was fast Okay, get this loading up again, and then I'm going to restart the uh, mods again. Okay. Uh, boop. Restart this. Let's just make sure that the mods are working. Okay. Let's try this again. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Maybe. I think it broke. Um, hmm. Okay, let me do something real quick. I'm just going to turn off the screen just so you don't see anything that you're not supposed to. Um, there you go. Give me one moment. Um, I'm going to stop the engine. 
Um, auto skip cutscenes. Turn that off. I think that's the only thing that broke it. Okay, start engine and load up Kingdom Hearts again. See if that'll work, because I can skip cutscenes by myself. Okay, let's unblock this. And try this again. I didn't have any issues last time, but I also didn't have this one mod on that auto skips cutscenes, so. I did find a glitch, but that was something that I went and looked for. I was like, maybe this will break the game. It did. Um, and I'll tell you what it is when we get there. That's weird, it skipped the intro that time. Um, okay, so again, I'm gonna load up this, reload the engine, load game. Yeah, we're still like right when we get to Traverse Town. We have to do all this again. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's going to start playing cutscenes. I can just get those by myself, though. Yeah. I just have to pause real quick. Okay. Let's try to get back to where we were as fast as we can. Okay. I'll leave that just for now. I'll grab those in a minute. When we're running around with the the goofs, the goofballs. Hold still. Get a little bit of experience while we're here. Mm, I'm thinking of something that I might be able to do to speed up the game again. But it would cost us some experience, but I could get, also get that later. I don't know. I'm gonna be saving. Frequently, though. Just because I'm annoyed. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I forgot to get, grab that chest. I'll grab it uh, when we get the goofs. What? You were supposed to kill me. There we go. You can win or lose that fight, and it's faster to lose it, obviously. So that, that's going to cost us some experience, but I can make that up later. See, everything that I'm skipping here, this is stuff that normally that it skipped by itself. Come on, but as long as it doesn't break the game, uh, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Learn impulse. Okay. Uh, abilities. Put that on real quick. Oh yeah, I didn't put on dark combo. I'm gonna be confused for a little bit because I'm gonna be thinking, oh yeah, I already got this, but I didn't. Skippity. At least I know where all these cutscenes are, so I can uh, skip them immediately. As soon as they like pop up. Um, I think I'm still gonna do the one red Trinity glitch just so I can get that ability early. When we get the goofs, the goofballs, the half pints. Um, let's kill these guys from for experience around here. So we're gonna need at least some for a uh, boss fight. Tech boost, nice. That should come in handy. Nope, not that one. Okay. Let's grab these chests while I'm here. I guess I could grab these later because we're in this room again, but it's fine. 
I'm thinking about it now. We're getting it now. That's not what I wanted. That was almost bad. I thought he would have despawned. Okay, another ability. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's see what happens. Can we just go to the boss fight? <laughs> what could go wrong? No cutscene, please. Um. So I know we didn't uh, use our potion fighting Leon this time, so we at least have that. We have one more potion. But we are lower level. Dang. If I would have hit that a little bit sooner, it would have given me some tech points. One hand down. Nice. Dodge. I'm surprised that actually missed me. No. Nice. Got some tech points there. I have a feeling we're going to at least level up from boss, as we did last time. Come down here, you weedy. Nice. So yeah, we did it. We did the blood. Skippity. There's one more cutscene that I have to skip here. Yeah. At least. And that was going to take us to the text cutscene, right? Right? Nope. Skip this too. No. <laughs> I know where they skip cutscenes. Fire. Rip of leap. Okay. Let's go get that one ability. Just try to run through everything that we already did real quick. Yeah, I could have gotten those chests now, but it's fine. We're not speedrunning. Yeah, I, I don't know why uh, that works. I guess your model is like barely into the bars, so you can run through it. When I was a kid, I used I, I I forgot that you always had to talk to him twice. Aerial dive, okay. Um, I'll do all the abilities at the end. Puppies, okay, we're out of here. Then we already got the chests in here. There's actually one chest that I missed that I, I think I can get now. Um, it's in one of the hotel rooms. In the one that we were originally in. Um, if you ring the bell at the counter in the hallway there, um, he'll tell you to hit the clock. If you hit it, I think, 12 times, you get a chest. I don't remember what it gives you. Chest? No. I'm not counting. There we go. There's the chest. Death roll. Okay, we might need that for something later. Um, you can do that in base game too. I don't remember what it gives you, but you can get something out of it. Okay, chest. Nice. Spirit stone. Don't do that. Nice. Okay. Grab this chest on this roof. Grab the po 
Coast Guard in here. Grab the Trinity. I'm trying to think of like ways to like my direction and path that I I'm, go I'm going through. I think as fast as possible. Obviously, it's not perfect because uh, I could have gotten some chests out of order. It's fine. Do this again. So there is a little cutscene there first. Where Sora sees uh, Carrie. Or at least is hallucinating Carrie. And then, then this dude shows up and you don't see Carrie anymore. <laughs> I realize now that, <clears throat> like, if you've never seen Kingdom Hearts, you don't know who Kara or Sarah, Sora is. Sari. Uh. This guy's name is Riku. We're not supposed to be playing as him. But, you know, mods. Um, I don't need to talk to you. All we needed was that trinity. It's got this chest while we're here. If I miss it, then we'll come back for it later. Yes. Dalmatians. Okay, let's see if I can actually get back. Nope. Okay. Um, back to the first dis district. Get those couple of trinities there and the postcards. I just have to re-remember how to do everything. Also, yeah, that door is not unlocked until you do that. So if you don't look at that little keyhole there and then try to go through this door, you can't. Which is one reason why I choose to go out this way when I'm grabbing stuff. Oblivion. Go in here. Um, do we still have a lot of money? We're like $200 less, so we're just gonna get the Smasher and Morningstar for now. They'll have more weapons in the future, plus we'll have more money then, so. Hit that, get the postcard. This postcard. Can't go in there. Eh. Damn it. I thought I was going to overshoot it, so I went back a little bit. But that made me undershoot it. Come on, Riki. I don't know why I call him Riki. That's not his name, it's Riku. Normally, we're supposed to play as Sora. But Riku is cooler. I don't know. Play the Kingdom Hearts games, you'll figure it out. Okay, that's one. Memory, two. Three. Four. Five. I missed one. What did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> if I don't grab it now, I'm going to forget about it, because I'll think I already got it. Got the one in the third district. Got that chest. Okay, I got that one. And I got that one up there, right? Right? I got the chest. Yeah. The thing in the ceiling, the ceiling fan. Got the one in the corner there. It's four. Oh, I know what I missed. It's 
from what I said, I'd go back for later. And since I said I was going to go back for it later, I thought I already got it. Because in another world I did. And also, I didn't do it in this order. There we go. There. Okay, let's do uh, abilities and equipment. Oh, Goofy didn't get his ability. Because we're lower level, barely. Okay. Um, fire boost, strength. Um, let's give Grey Warrior to you. with that for now. Uh, I think we're good to leave again. I think. I think. Let's save before we do. And then back to Olympus Coliseum. We get some accessories right here, so I could have waited to put accessories on. It's fine. And, and abilities. It's fine. Yeah, there's the Thunder Ring we can give to Donald. Dalmatians. Put on, slot on. Just in case we need it for this. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Skip. That's sore. He wants us to push this block, which is why I always push it towards the wall. Because you can't move it at all. It's, it's way too heavy. Okay. Nice. Super nice. Bad lock on, bad lock on. Stuck. I could get it past the pole. I like how the darkness meter goes up no matter what you hit. It's like, did you hit something? Yep. Cool, go up. Grab. Grab, how did, how did it fall? Don't get stuck again. Yeah, actually, might have to redo this. Yep. I'm not quitting. This is what happens when you don't take the things seriously. And everything is different, so you're not used to it. Don't get stuck. Fall, dude. It's okay. We only we only need only need this one. There we go. You're better than I thought. Okay, bye. We got thunder. We want to leave out this way so we can get the pass later. Um, customize thunder fire. Okay, now we're gonna go to Wonderland again. I don't think it'll freeze this time. Um, there's a save point right when we land, so I can use that real quick. Also, yeah, I can save anywhere. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that I can save anywhere. Oh, there's not a save point. There usually is one here. Oh, it's fine. The room where it, for, where it did freeze, there is a save point, which is what I was trying to do. I was trying to like find my way to that, either that or leave that room. Um, but I don't think my character was actually, like, loaded in. Because when I was doing any animation, it was, like, immediate. Instead of, like... Yeah, you, you can hear him finish his lines. The other one was like... Eh, eh, eh. I forgot to move the bed again. It's fine. 
Get some experience here. It only took us like 15 minutes to get back to where we were. Maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. That was weird. The animation just kind of freaked out. See, he was still attacking, but also grabbing the thing. Okay. We are going to be behind on experience, though. Okay, don't freeze. Okay, cutscene. Skip cutscene. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's like you, you could hear me do this in the menu before. Something with the auto skipping cutscenes must have bugged out or something. Okay, so they want us to find uh, evidence that Alice didn't uh, steal the Queen of Hearts' heart. I can skip part of this. So we don't actually only need one piece of evidence. Um, you don't get anything bonus for getting all four of them. Um, oh. If you do get a specific one, though, you get uh, Blizzard early. Okay, there's that for Goofy. Oh yeah, I can do Trinities during battle, I forgot. I'm so used to base KH1's rules where you can't do trinities or uh, chests in battle. So here's one piece of evidence. It, I guess it slightly makes one thing easier. Uh, if you get more than one evidence. I can cheat for this. Bizarre room. Where does this end us? Okay, yeah, this is the one piece of evidence that we do want. Because even if that's the only one you get, uh, you get uh, Blizzard early. If you don't do this now, um, you can get Blizzard um, when you leave this world. It's going to be useful for the boss. Also, Thunder is going to be useful. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have stances. Um, dark stance, we want critical, and dark is all we have. Boost criticals, extra, gain extra darkness, we'll go with that one. It just changes a few of our, like, abilities that we don't see, I guess. Not all leveled up, nice. So this one higher is my dark meter. Um, one thing they don't tell you about the darkness meter is if it's high enough, you heal yourself by hitting things, just anything. You get hit health back. So that's uh, one reason why I want that one. Um, we just got something, Blizzard. I want that to be here, and then we'll put fire on A for now. I'm not really gonna use fire, I think, at least not for a while. These guys aren't gonna respawn. I feel like enemies respawn a lot faster than they did in base game. Um, yeah, let's kill all the enemies we can find on in here right now. There's a few other things I want to do now before we continue story. So we can get a, if we can get a few extra experience points along the way, then why not? Okay. Um. I would like to go into this door. I'm gonna ignore these guys because they're annoying to fight. I think I know where this puts me. Nope. Oh well. There's this. Enemies. Um, gotcha. 
I want to at least get to a certain point in this stream. So, like, we'll see how far we get. I just have to remember, like, re what requirements I need to hit to do what I want to do. Also, if we hit these guys with, uh, Blizzard, we get tech XP. So it's like free extra XP. Might as well, as we can. Basically, if you hit those bell-looking enemies with, like, the opposite element, uh, you'll get some extra XP. Uh, we could turn in our evidence now, but there's still one more that we can find, and also there's other places we can get to that we're not supposed to yet. So might as well get some extra, extra experience out of it. I know I keep saying that, but I feel like we're going to need it. This first boss is just kind of annoying. I say first boss even though it's like the third. Second, if you don't count the islands, I guess. Um, there is a chest. Oh, there's the last evidence we can get. I'm trying to go up. We can. I think we can get that chest now. Yeah. Not supposed to. Mystery goo. That's actually super useful. Um, I don't know if I can get up there. Not from here. But from here, I probably can. Dalmatians. Okay. Um, probably? No. But. Huh. Hmm. I think I can do it. Okay. Nope. Sometimes if you do, like, a jump and roll at the same time, you can do an immediate roll right out of that. Hmm. I feel like I got up there before. It's fine. We can get up there in like a minute after we do this mini boss. Mini boss in quotes. Okay. I'm like super self conscious that something, something's gonna go wrong, so I keep saving. Okay, let's do a mini boss. Okay, so for this, there's R4 evidence. They bring one as well. We want to find the one that uh, falls first. That one's always good. Which I think was this one. Good enough. Um, if you only have one evidence, obviously it's one against her four. There's always five. But since we had four, we, it's almost guaranteed that we were going to make it. Uh, this is the boss fight. More specifically, the tower. Um... Other options you can get from those boxes are Donald and Goofy by themselves, or both of them together. Um, if you get either of them, they're put into a cage for this fight. But you can open the cage to set them free. Also, the cards uh, are not the enemies here. Also, this. Okay, I was like, the boss fight's supposed to be over. <laughs> Ah, that's why I was, I was just sitting there. The cards don't give you experience or anything. Okay, heal those dudes back up. Say one more time. Okay. And now Kitty Kitty Cat's gonna talk to us. Also that. There's now a, ro a rock here. Meet everybody's favorite enemy. Large body. You can't hit him from the front. Because he's fat, you get it? Hit him. Thank you. Okay. 
Uh, we can do this now. Uh, we want to give a potion to the flower. Huh. What, I'm, what I want to do is get behind this uh, mushroom here. But, like, you have to do this first. If you don't do this, there's an invisible wall there. Grab this. Enemies want to come back? Experience. Lucky strike, nice. Hmm, I guess I could have, could have done it. Yeah, because you can't pause in battle. I wonder if that's a mod someone could implement. Accessing the actual pause menu, the regular pause menu, in battle. I don't see why not. But also, I don't know anything about coding, so I don't know. Nice. Yeah, these dudes respond a lot faster than I expected. Stop hitting the flower. Stop hitting the flower. Thank you. What I wanted was to go back here. Please, please. Okay. You're not supposed to be here. Shock me. No, leave me alone. Yeah, there's, a, there's a trinity here we can do. Magic. Okay, so yeah, this thing wants, over here wants us to shock it. For a chest. Memory, we're gonna need that for later. This leads us to this chest. Dalmatians. We can also get the other chests if I can do jumps right. Nope. It's fine. Uh, we can get those other chests easily. These guys are just going to keep respawning, so I'm just going to keep dealing with them for now. Guys caught back up on XP. I think that's the one attack of his that you can't block is when he jumps down, or does the jump. Grab some money. Anime's. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. My magic's getting stronger. Oh no. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, magic doesn't have a stat. But it technically does. <laughs> Your magic stat is how many bars of magic you have. So I have two. Donald has probably, what, three? That's how strong our magic is. Yubi doesn't have magical attacks, but he can do things that use up his magic. Sorry. Freeze. 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 Thank you guys. Freeze. Oh yeah, we also don't have the Phoenix down equipped. I forgot because uh, of the reset. There's clearly something I'm forgetting. It's like, there's another room we can get to, but I don't remember how to do it. I think it might have be up there. Which means I've gotten up there before, right? Right? Right. Oh, there we go. Just had to aim for the right area. Is this where I was trying to get to? This is... Ki kind of? Hmm. Freeze! Sorry! Freeze! Nice. This is one area I was trying to get to. There's, no, there's still another one. Bye, teddy bear. <laughs> Stop it. I'm trying to run in, into me. How rude. Okay. This, get a chest. Money. Also, that, that teddy bear was up here on this shelf, but it, there was like a wire we could hit that we did. I don't think that does anything. It just brings the teddy bear down there. 
that makes this painting here that we can go into. Enemies? No, no, no. So here's a white trinity we can't do yet. We can shock this. Then you can give items to these things too, but they give you like upgrades of what you give them. So I'm good. Uh, where does this lead? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. This is the bizarre room, obviously. Okay. Seems like, oh, you wanted enemies? Not really, actually. You can also get tech XP from these dudes by hitting the fire back to them. Good hate. Are we done fighting here now? We. Where does this take me? Okay, this is where I wanted to go. Okay. Cannot see. Fighting these guys does become a little bit easier soon. Nice. But right now, because of their... They're just constantly in the way. Donald, use Blizzard. Don't use Thunder, use Blizzard, you idiot. Uh, we can hit this while we're here. Noisy. Queen's Castle, this will bring us to here. Can I get this one from here? Of course not. Um, I think if we get back into that room, I can get to that other chest. I don't want to fight you guys. You guys, I will Freeze. fight. Freeze. Freeze. Solely because of this. Jumping is hard sometimes. Just aim for the lower part. Okay, too far. See, there you go, super easy. There's another way to get over there, I just don't remember how right now, and I don't want to figure it out. If I stay here, they'll come to me and I won't trigger any more enemies. The item okay now we can go through here and there's actually another door over here okay. that takes us to lotus forest which is here we've been here Mm. Oh, these guys. I don't. I don't know if we can do it all right now. It's fine. I'll, we'll, I'll get all the chests eventually. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Scamp. There's also that up there, but we can again get that later. If you read this twice, sit down to get a present. Uh, the answer to this puzzle here is sit down on a chair that doesn't have a cushion and you'll get something good out of it. And you can do it every single time. You can't do the same one twice, but if you do a different one, you can do it multiple times. Just don't pick one, one with the cushion. And last one. Okay. There are chests up there, but we can't get those right now. We'll get those later. Um, and if you do sit it in a chair with the cushion, Donald, get out of my way. Enemies. Freeze. 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 Donald, use Blizzard on him. Sorry. Get more XP out of him. Okay. I don't care. Hey. 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 
rude. If you get too far from where they spawn, they will despawn. So since I was moving around too much, he didn't like where I was. Big boy, there he is. Rude. Thanks, Goofy. Nice. I didn't think that was going to hit him, actually. And now we're out of magic. There we go. Are we done here yet? Now we are. Okay. I could have done this during the fight, but I didn't want to. I didn't feel like it. I wanted the experience. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here, but we can leave out here. Does this lead to that other chest? It does. Okay, cool. Ooh, magic arm, though. Yeah, let's equip ourselves real quick. Um, Donald got an ability. Goofy got jackpot. Um, I got lucky strike. Um, anything better for us? We can raise our magic. But no. Uh, change that to the Fire Ring. We can also give him the Thunder Ring. Magic Armlet and MP Haste would be good for him. Yeah, let's do that. Ray of Light. Um, let's give him one of those Protect Chains. Um, give me the Phoenix down real quick. Oh, we didn't get it. Did I use it? I thought we got it from... Leon. Unless one of them grabbed it and used it. Which could have happened. Okay. That's annoying, but it's fine. Uh, we'll just keep the potions. I think other than that, we're good. Let's do a save. What level are we? We're 11. We'll be, we'll be fine. Probably. Enemies spawn in here right now? Do they? No, no. Get some extra goodies out of the plant now. Okay. Let's do a boss fight. Surprise! Well, that was weird. The music just went really quiet. So, uh, yeah. This is the trickster. He's super tall, which is annoying. Uh, his batons, you don't want to hit with fire. I'm sure you can guess why. Which is why Blizzard is good in this fight. Thunder is also good because it comes from up, down. But I, I want to save my magic for now. Down to his last health bar. Um, we don't want him to go over to the stove. Be awesome if he didn't. He never likes that chair. Nice. Oh no! Okay, cool. So Thunder was the right choice. Usually you, you think Blizzard's good there, but Thunder, real good. Cool. That's that world. We get a special gummy for finishing the world. Oh, yeah. You're quite the hero. Okay, bye. Cool. Now there's the save point here. Um, Did we get the Keyblade? We did. So this triples the drop rate of rare items. So that's uh, kind of useful. Also, always deals critical hits. It's a little bit weaker than our key, but um, yeah. Also, we have another uh, slot here. Let's just do Protect Chain for us for now. Did anyone get any abilities from that? I didn't think so. No, okay. 
Um, I don't think there's anything we need to do while we're here. Also, we actually get a different Keyblade. It looks different. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. Um, let's go finish this world. Just because the world after this is going to be difficult if we don't. And I think once we finish the next world, uh, we'll be able to access what I want to access. Now we have to actually fight in the world here. Oh yeah, these guys aren't normally supposed to drop things here. But there's a mod for that. To, uh... Where enemies drop uh, items anywhere. So, you know, also here. And since we have this Keyblade, they're gonna drop a lot of stuff. So synthesis should be pretty easy towards the end of the game, I think. I think. We'll see. I want to pick up the goodies before we leave, though. Because there's a lot of them. Damn it. I wanted to hit him with fire. I'm always a little sad when the items disappear between matches, which is why I want to grab them before they disappear. Do you pick up that potion? Nothing to it. That's not your voice. goodies first. Okay. Take this. Take this. No, hit him with fire, Donald. Get more experience. Skip. I think we have one more fight and then the mid boss. Rude. Anyone want to heal me? No? Didn't think so. Just hoping we'd have both potions for this fight over here, this next fight. MP went up, nice. That was the wrong button. I know it's the same placement of the buttons, but like because it's on Xbox controller instead of PlayStation, like mine is so confused. Cool. Might not have any potions for the next step, next fight. There is a mod that auto reloads them between fights, but I don't know if that counts for this. Uh, it does. Cool. So when I was a kid, um, this game came out when I was like seven. Um, I had never played a Final Fantasy game, but I played this. So I thought all these characters were for this game. It's like, whoa, they made an entire series off those, out those random characters from Kingdom Hearts. That's cool. Uh, you can also lose that fight. You can win or lose it. But winning gets you experience. Oh yeah, we're immediately kicked into the... Uh, not like straight into the next boss fight, but like we can go do it right now. I thought we had a new ability, but I guess it was just uh, goofy. Anything else we get? Give me another potion, please, game. Okay, let's go do the boss fight. 
That was the mini boss. Here, here's the big boss. Oh god. This was usually like the first wall. Wall. My brain did not want to say wall. For me in the base game. Was this dude. Cerberus. And also like he's super hard now. But, like, movement. Wow. I think I blocked it. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to get onto his back. Oh well. potions I have to use, the better. Oh, great. Down to his back. Nice. Game doesn't like when you're on his back. Especially the camera. Oh yeah, um, the camera is back farther than it usually is in base game. So, a lot of things are gonna kind of be like a little glitchy when it comes to the camera. But in base game, it was like super close. I'd rather be over here. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm surprised it didn't hit me. Dodge. Okay. Try I'm trying to dodge before I land. Because landing takes a second. Get on his foot. And then on his butt. That was actually kind of close. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Donald and Goofy are both dead. Gross. You can just stay up here the entire time if you wanted to. I just do it to avoid the dark uh, things that he does on the ground. Please. He's in a terrible spot, like right in front of these stairs. That was close. Damn it. I'm surprised they didn't hit me. On his foot, on his foot, on his foot, on his back. There we go. Go get him, guys. Um. I'm out of magic. Are you done? No. Go get him! Almost. There we go. Nice. That's that world done. Cool. Uh, well, it's technically done. This world... In, in its entirety is optional. You don't have to go here ever. But, um, it's usually, uh, usually a good idea. Also, um, you don't want to teleport out of here. You want to talk to this dude now. Because <laughs> normally you're not allowed to teleport out of this world at all. Um. So, don't. Um, and also, even after that cutscene, don't teleport out of here. Because... There's another cutscene. Now, every time you go there, you, I think you, you can teleport out. Um. So yeah, let's go to the next world. Oh wait, there is something we can do in Traverse Town real quick. I think one thing. Um. I can't think of anything else. Oh no, we can do it in a second thing. Never mind. Let's do that real quick. Do those. Um freeze freeze sorry you need blizzard to get those out to open this chest otherwise you can't open that chest uh we can go to the third district and do do this we could have done this when we first got thunder thunder and that triggers something in the second district that we can go do 
Also, I don't, I don't think enemies are going to spawn here because... Like they normally do after you leave the world in the base game. Um, but because we have every world open to us, the game is kind of confused. Uh, if you came in here earlier, these platforms and stuff wouldn't be moving. And that's the only way uh, for now to get up here and hit these buttons. And once we hit all three, this clock in the middle will start moving. Right? Right? There we go. You get two postcards out of it. And that's it that we can do for now. Um, I know where the last two postcards are, but we can't get either of them yet. So. Shrug. Weird. Um, turn in the postcards. Phoenix down. Or your Calcum. Let's equip that Phoenix down now, just so I have it. Oh, it's way down here. Oh, why, why is it all the way down there? I don't know. Because it's not supposed to be there, probably. Um, I want it in the second slot, please. Yeah, and then just give you a regular potion. Just so I don't accidentally go to the items menu and use it. Because it auto-revives you. Okay, we're done here. Do a quick save. And gummy ship. Okay, let's go to the third world. And I want to at least finish this world, so we're gonna do that. Uh, the story for this place is Donald and Sora argue about landing here at all. And so they crash land. And so you're separated at first. Hey, look, it's the mini boss. That was fun. Technically, it's not over yet. Um, also, I think that right there is the last fight you can win and or lose. Or I guess win or lose and continue the story. I think everything after that has to be won. I think. But yeah, we are currently separated from Donald and Goofy. Um, we have Tarzan with us. He jumped off down there to tell us where to go, but I want chests first. So I'm going to get chests first. Serenity power. And I think there's only two more in the area, but we can get them both now. Um, I don't think they want us to get uh, one of them till way later, but it doesn't matter. You can actually get both of these now uh, in base game as well, but it's easier in this one. Because there's this over here. Fire glow. That'll be useful. And then there's a chest way down there at the bottom of that boat. Um, in base game, you just have to jump and keep swinging while you're holding forward. I think for, for this, we just have to do one dodge roll and land on it. And then miss. Hell yeah. There is a chest here. Papu fruit. We can get back up there real quick, though. There's a trinity that we can't do right now. I want that chest. So I'm going to get that chest. I don't think it's anything special right now either, but I want it now. It's my chest and I want it now. Like I said, it's super easy to get later on, but I want it now. If I can do it now, I'm going to get it now. So... me. I missed again, didn't I? Yep. Okay, one more try. If we don't get it, then I'll just cry. We come back up here several times in this world, so I can get it. I can attempt it again every time we come up here. 
This world is very much, uh, go to the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom. Just over and over. So. Oh, 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 damn it. Okay, one thing that I do want to show up real quick is you're not supposed to be able to go to the gummy ship right now. Because you're by yourself. Um, if you do go to any, any world right after that. You are by yourself. Donald, Donald and Goofy do not come with you. Do not trigger any cutscenes that have Donald and Goofy in them. It'll crash the game. <laughs> I know. I've done it. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to go do anything right now without Donald and Goofy, you can. Also, when you teleport back here... Um, says dis disembark again, so you'd think we'd be at the top of the tree again, right? Nope, we're at the bottom. So it kind of saves us out some time, not a lot. Anyway, here's Donald and Goofy again. Uh, Tarzan, we're gonna get rid of, because we the Trinity things that we've done, um, you can only trigger with uh, everyone, Donald and Goofy. You can't uh, trigger them with like Tarzan in your party. Okay. We need to get slides, and I always forget at least one of them, so let's try not to do that. I think there's like six. That's so one, two, three, four, five. Did we get the last one already? No, there it is. Six, okay. Um, get this now. Normally this doesn't give us a chest. I'm pretty sure that one explodes and gives us, like, money or health or whatever. Uh, talk to... I was thinking her name was Jasmine for some reason, but it's, it's Jane. Jasmine is 11. If you don't get all of them, it won't trigger the cutscene, obviously. Now we need to go see some gorillas. First, mini boss again. He is slightly more health this time, I think. That's fun. We're still not done with him though. Okay. There are a couple chests in here. Uh, you can get all these in base game. Like that one is super easy. This one you're not supposed to be able to get. But you can. If you just... Don't fail. If you do like a well-timed attack while jumping to that uh, platform, you can land on it. I made it in this one without attacking because uh, the jump's higher. But I don't think they want you to get that one until later. Um, and then this is super easy, obviously. And there we go. Now they want us to go back up to the tree house. There are a couple chests in this area, though. I want to say there's three in total, but maybe there's only two. I can never remember. Oh my god, how did you do that? How did you manage that? SMH my head. What what do they want you to get across want what they want you to do to get across this is hop across the hippos? I'm good. I hate waiting for the hippos. Okay, let's try again. I'm more sad that I just fell without using the vines. Don't? Okay. Dalmatians? Okay. I know there's at least another area here. That's not what I wanted. That was weird. Yeah, there's another section of vines. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a chest. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I don't think I was supposed to do that. But if it works, it works. There's not anything over here, is there? I don't think so. Um, they want me to go that way. Let's try to grab one of these. Hell yeah. How, how, how do I get off? I'm on, I'm on off the ride. Um. Oh, I can just press circle. Mithril, and I think that's it. I think that's it for chests. Yeah. Oh, hell no. No, thanks. Okay. Make this faster if I go down here. Because from this vine, we just have to go up and then up again to where we want to go. From the other vine, we have to go across the vines again. We've been in here. Uh, oh, come on. Do, do jump good. Another trinity right here. Thunder gem. Okay. Cutscene. And now that I want us to go back to the bottom. Back to the tent. I want this chest. It's my chest and I want it now. Give it to me. Please. It's okay, we'll be back up there again later. So here's a mini game. Um, you can just skip it. You don't have to do it at all. Ever. <laughs> Not even in the base game. Oh, I think the kitty was there again, but I ignored it. Um Okay, now we have to run around fighting Heartless. Yeah, you'll know when you're done, because it'll always give you a gummy. And guess where we need to go? Yep, back up to the top. We also need to go in the other direction, but uh, we can do that a faster way. If we go this way first. You're probably like, what? That doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. It doesn't need to make sense. Just, under just accept it. And that's Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. <laughs> Don't understand it. Just accept it. Yeah, there's not a lot of enemies in this world until the heartless sh suddenly show up. And then there's just heartless everywhere. Okay, we're done here. Back up here again. There's enemies inside of there. We can go fight through the window. I think I just knocked one of them out the window. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't just despawn. Interesting. That chest, it'd be awesome if we could get it this time. Because I don't want to fall in that direction off of the treehouse. See, but to do what I want to do, we need to not fall off in that direction. I've had some issues with getting this chest before, but never this much. I mean, I'm going to ignore the mushrooms for now. We'll have to do something with them later, but uh, I'll deal with that later. I don't want to deal with it now. Stuff for synthesis.
There we go. It's a mithril. Okay. So I don't want to fall off in this direction because it sends us to where that trunk is and then it sends us to the minigame. But if you jump off in this direction, you just skip the minigame and go to a different area. And since we needed to come to this area anyway to fight some Heartless, faster to just do it then. Power chain. Nice. Mithril shard. Okay, we need to do this one last room, and then we can go back to the tent. Okay, that was a game. It took a second there, so I'm, I'm nervous. So I save. Back to camp. How much experience are these guys giving us? Four? It's better than nothing. I hate fighting these guys, so I just don't. So if you slip on the banana peels, you lose a bunch of money. Okay, back to the tent. Talk to Jane. Do another save here, because I want to. And now, the actual mini boss fight. It's the same thing. <laughs> Just with more health. Nice. That's it. Usually we get like a accessory from uh, that fight. So I don't know if we still get anything or not. Um, now we need to go back to the tent again. Aiming for the barrel. Oh, we already killed everyone. Cool. Cool. Okay. Back to the tent. <gasps> Jane's missing. Near treehouse. I don't know how you know that, but okay. Time to go to the, to the treehouse again. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. Because I hate fighting around that table. This is so much easier with the air dodge. That's not in base game, if you didn't know. Also, being able to cancel out of your animations into a dodge is not also in the base game. So the, what they want you to do here is attack the fruit. That big one up there. But, and if you don't, uh, Endless heartly, Heartless are going to spawn. So, like, if you wanted to, you can grind here. I don't know how close we are to our, our next level or anything. We did just level up off, the, off of the mini-boss. But literally, all, all you have to do is hit this little bunch. Excuse me, sir. Donald leveled up, so I guess that's good. That's it. You could do that literally right away if you wanted to. Oh. Next scene. Okay, now we can go do the bus fight. And you'll never guess where it is. We can, you can just jump straight to it. Boss fight. Um, done hurt. 
Don't get hit by gun. We did it. We're done. We can leave the world. We're done. Yay. That's not it. That was only the first, first part of the boss fight. I'd rather not use my phoenix down. I can avoid it. So, uh, the lizard's actually not the boss. It's still just Clayton. You don't need to beat up the lizard at all if you don't want to. You just need to beat it enough so that Clayton gets off of it. I think he can get back on it. I don't remember how, but I think he has the ability to. Also, he can heal. That was weird. So you don't want to leave him alone for too long. And that's it. Also, the audio went, audio went weird again. But yeah, you don't need to be a, the lizard. Escapity. Escape? Okay. I was like, can I skip this? Yes. So we're basically done with wor the world. We just have to do some platforming. Uh, there's only four chests in this room. They're all easy to find. It's basically back and forth on the far right of the room. And that's it. Am I? Oh, I'm not high enough. I thought I was. I thought I was higher. Uh, oh. It's like, how up again? I was not as high as I thought, so I, I lost where I am. There we go. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I had nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm surprised I know that much of the song. Honestly. <laughs> okay, let's not fall. Don't fall. Thank you. Now we're done with this world. Also, remember that the White Trinity is there. Nav a G piece. I think we also get the ability to do the green trinities. After that. Oh, we know. That's later. We get the red ones now. Green is later. Yeah, red trinity. Um. I can only think of one place where we can use the red trinity for now. Technically two, but one we glitched, so we don't need to do it. Um, we need to go back to Traverse Town. Also, if you didn't know, you're not supposed to be able to warp back to worlds automatically like that fast. You're supposed to do like a a uh, rail shooter minigame. Is that what it's called? Rail shooter? Yeah. It's just a, it's a, a Star Fox minigame between worlds. Eventually you get a, a thing that lets you bypass it, but uh, we just have mods. Um... I want to go talk to Sid. Yeah, give him the gummy. I don't think he's supposed to be here right now. I think he's supposed to be up somewhere else. Unless I'm just thinking of later. We have to give him the gummy. He also gives us a book to give to the old man. And then we learn about the bell. Oh, we didn't get this chest yet. Cool. Attack chain. Oh. Probably could have used that earlier. Um, now, third district. Have to remember the order of things. I don't think enemies are still gonna spawn yet. Maybe they will. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's fine with me. Let's 
go this way, because I want to use that red trinity just to get it out of the way. Over here. Kill some dudes, get some experience along the way. How much experience do these guys give? Like one? Yeah, cool. Not a lot. The other ones give us three. Okay. Thanks, Donald. Oh yeah, we also have Cure now. I don't know why the game didn't tell us that, but we have Cure. Um, Cure goes on X. That's not up for debate. <laughs> I guess there's... Uh, arguments with the Kingdom Hearts community on where Cure goes. Some people think it goes on Y, some people it goes on A. It goes on A. Just so I can mash A. When I need to heal. But also now we don't need to use potions uh, if we don't want to. Talk to you real quick. This is when they want you to come to here. Also, uh... Timber! Now you can use the... You can give the summon orbs to this lady. Okay, if we had more, she'd just give them us all of them. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to have Mushu yet. Not for, like, way later. And we don't have to do this now. We can literally, literally just skip it the entire game. But, uh... I want the rewards that it gives. Oh, I thought that was a cutscene I could skip. Nope, but I can go in here. I know there's one chest here that we can get. Game. Thank you. Chest here. Metro shard, okay. And then I think we can only go one more place for now. We have to find lost pages to get to the rest of the world. But might as well get through what we can. I want to get the cutscenes, even though it's just zooming in on my butt. There we go. And I guess te technically this is a chest. You steal stuff from Pooh. You'd like to know what happens next. Find the pages. And we don't have any pages yet, so we can't go anywhere else. Um, base game. You can't go to the guppy menu. So this is one of those another one of those times where if you do leave and then go into another world, you won't have Donald and Goofy. Don't trigger any cutscenes, because it'll crash the game. That's where I found it, was there. Because I was like, hey, you can do this? That's cool. Oh yeah, um, they don't want you leaving through here right now. So the base game, they wouldn't let you use it at all. Um, because there's a cutscene trigger, like, right outside of here. Please? Please? Thank you. Right here. This is where I figured out the where the game would crash if you don't have Donald and Goofy with you. Because I left the world and came back, and came back from a different direction. Um... We can talk to these guys now. Talk to Sid. Oh yeah, I can't. I forgot. The text scene. They're talking about Maleficent. You say and Sora, our friend, is going to the dark side. And these two will, will remind you about the bell in the second district. Hello, enemies. Give me the spell answers. Those guys still only give one. Get, give it. So we can leave. Right now, I just want to go trigger the boss fight. So we didn't technically complete this world the last time we were here. We finished it, and we gained the ability to leave it. But, um...
We didn't complete it. Okay, I'm gonna ignore these guys because I don't feel like fighting with them. And normally I would just jump around to where the ladder is. But I don't want to. Because this actually might be faster. Especially if I fall. So these boxes are moved. Which means you can now do the Trinity here. I don't know what happens if, like, you mod the ability to... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> if you mod the ability to use Trinities before you get them. Like, if you're able to do it through the boxes or whatever. I don't know. Also, I've never fallen into that room before. Because I thought I just fell there. So. Maybe you can glitch through that and do... Maybe you could do this earlier. Hmm. Maybe before the next stream, I'll... Uh, do the intro again. And, uh... Get to the part where you... Uh, find... Look at, look at the trinities. Oh yeah, I can skip this. Now we can finish this world. But first, the same boss as before. Don't go too wild on him. Or like use up all your magic or something on him. Because that's only the first part. Now he's upside down. His hands are his feet, and his feet are his hands. That's the only difference. I think his attacks can be kind of different, but... It's basically the same thing. I think the pieces have more health, but maybe that's it. And different moves, obviously. I always go for the hand-like things first. I don't know, I just always have. The things that were originally the hands, these things, the things with claws, and then I go for the feet, and then the bodies. That's just how I've always done it. I have to pay attention to my health, because uh, in this mode, you can die like instantly. But I think I've been pro proactive enough, focusing on experience and things, that we should be okay. Hopefully. If you deflect this attack, you don't get any tech XP, so there's no reason to try. Just dodge it. There we go. Now, all that's left is the body. I think that's the only, only attack he can do there, right? Uh, without any limbs. Is uh, the cannon move. So now we're done with this world. Um, we do... We do need to go talk to Sid real quick. Oh, so we got a new ability. This is Drain Stance. We have a, we have a new stance. So, um... Anytime I hit uh, an enemy, I'll get health back. It's kind of useful. Sid should be over here. Yeah. That was quick. And that, uh... Gives us access to leave the world again. Or I guess go to the next worlds. Um, I think there should be one thing we can do once we leave here. Yeah. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. So, remember how I said we need to leave by walking out of the world? If you don't trigger that one cutscene as you're walking out of the world, the, the uh, tournaments won't happen. But when you spawn back into the world, you come out of there. You come out of there. But it still doesn't trigger the cutscene unless you actually leave through the door. So. I, I got stuck a couple times, and I was like, why doesn't the tournament show up? Because, uh... I hadn't gotten the story far enough in this world. Even though I was supposed to have, 
And technically, I did. I just didn't do that one cutscene. But, uh, yeah. There's tournaments here. And they drop materials here. And money. And you can do these tournaments as much as you want. Also, apparently it takes forever for the match to actually end. Which is kind of good, because it gives us time to pick up the items and the uh, orbs and such. But, yeah. yeah, see, it didn't take a lot long that time. I don't know. Maybe it just has to do with like the items, or I don't, I don't know. Loop in the music? I don't know. No idea. It's supposed to be pretty instant in the base game, so... One of the mods is messing it up a little bit, but that's fine. See, that one was pretty quick. I don't know. Oh, there's still a red, red one. Walk onto the red one. Boopy, don't you dare. Thank you. I don't think there's a spell that gives tech XP against the electric guys. No, no. I want the item. Damn it. I think that's gonna despawn in the next match. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Okay, aim for this dude first. Nice. Ooh, nice timing on that. Like I said, there's an easier way to fight them later, as we get a specific ability. See, the music keeps going. There's nothing on the ground, there's no orbs or items. So, I don't know. Sometimes it's just slow. Here's the guy with Tornado. Nice. Get the items. Cool. That's all I mostly care about, is getting the items. I don't know if we're ever going to need to actually grind for, um... Synthesis items, but if we do, I think I know where to start. Rude. Close. Also, I grab this while I can. Thank you. Rude. Monies. Cool. Are we on to the last match now, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Almost. One more after this. I saw the item fall like almost immediately in the beginning of the fight. I was like... Oh. Better not lose that. Remember that's there. So I'm glad we picked it up. Give me the item, give me the monies. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what, what, why sometimes it takes longer. Shadow Battalion. Oh yeah, I don't know to fire, I forgot. Oh well. That's the power of the keyblade. And that's the fill cup. I don't care. We get a trophy. And then these guys talk to us for a second.
That's it. Um, so, uh, if you talk to him again, though, you can enter it alone, and then after you do that, you can do it uh, time limit with Donald and Goofy. Um, I'm probably going to do those off stream. And, like, if they give us anything important, I'll try to try to remember it or, like, write it down or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah. That's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. YouTube, if you, like I said, if you're seeing this, uh, drop a like or something. Cause it, 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 like I said, I've been trying to get this on YouTube for, like, a week. So, I'll see ya.